And God is saying to us every day, do not be afraid. I am with you. Brothers and sisters, welcome to Advent. I pray that this Advent will be for you and for me a special time to encounter the Lord in a new way. May God meet you at your different points of need. May your heart be open to God and may God's grace come abundantly upon you and may God keep you safe throughout this holy season. This Advent, I'll be reflecting with you on the general theme of moving from fear to faith. Moving from fear to faith. And this reflection is inspired by the life of the Blessed Mother. And we hear so much about Mary, how she cooperated with God's grace in bringing about the miracle of the birth of the Messiah. When she said yes, the angel said to Mary, do not be afraid. And God is saying to us every day, do not be afraid. I am with you. I will work with you. Do not be afraid. You know, there is a relationship between fear and faith. The first is that the person who is afraid and the person who has faith both expect something to happen. The one who is afraid expects bad things to happen. The one who has faith expects good things to happen. That's one difference. Another difference is that fear comes from our own human reality, our human limitations, when we face the reality of our own vulnerability, of our own finality, of our own weakness, we become afraid. But faith comes from putting our trust in God. When we look upon the Lord who made us, the one who sent us here for a mission, when we trust the promises of God. We are filled with faith, hope, and we move into the future trusting that God will take care of us. So this Advent, I invite you to embrace faith. What is it that is making you afraid? What is it that you worry about? What are you anxious about? This time, this holy season, God is inviting us to trust God. In the gospel, we hear about the call to wait upon the Lord. The servants who have been invited by the master to wait for the arrival of their master. Now, we can read this text in the light of eschatology, that is what will happen at the end of the time. But in a special way, I invite you to also read it as something that happens every moment. God is always coming to us. God is always reaching out to us. Being a Christian means someone who waits upon the Lord. For there is nothing I can do without God. There is nothing you can do without God. So a Christian is one who waits upon the Lord. Why is it that way? Because everything that we have, all that we wait for, all that we hope for, come to us by God's graciousness, God's generosity unto us. We're always waiting like the servants in the gospel, always waiting for their master to come back. So each and every one of us, we are waiting for the Lord. But this is where faith comes in. I remember many years ago 
when I went to take an x-ray. And the doctor, they saw three dark spots on my tibia, on my right bone. The doctor was afraid and he said, Stan, we must act quickly. We suspect a cancer. For those three days after my biopsy, I couldn't sleep because I was a person of weak faith. I was afraid. What's going to happen to my leg? Am I going to be amputated? If it is cancer, has it spread throughout my body? I was lucky. When the biopsy came, they said it was benign. But that actually showed me my own vulnerability, my own lack of faith. And I was so afraid that I couldn't sleep for three nights. But think of it. If your boss says to you, I am going to give you a pay raise, and you'll be expecting the letter in the mail in the next two days. Now, in my own case, I was afraid. Fear brings this negative energy, fearing the worst. Faith brings positive energy. So you see, the master says, your boss says, I'm, I'm going to give you a pay raise and you will get a mail. You are filled with joy, with expectation, because you know that something good is going to come in the mail. That is faith. Trusting that your boss is not lying to you. He's made you a promise and he's going to bring, he's going to come through. In one case, when you are afraid, you forget the God who made you. The God who says, I alone know the plan I have for you. A plan for peace and not for war. A plan for blessing and not for curse. A plan to give you a future that is filled with hope. When you call, I, the Lord, your God, I will answer you. But when you are afraid, you forget the promises of God. But when you have faith, you hold on to the promises of God. You are waiting with hope. You are waiting with joy and expectation because you know that God is coming. That when God comes, God will bless me. That God is coming with a bundle of infinite blessing, boundless blessing. And so we wait in hope. We wait in joy. We wait trusting that God will bless us. And so I ask you during this Advent, to pray for the gift of faith, to pray for the gift of patience. There are many things you are asking God that has not happened or that have not happened in your life, but wait upon the Lord. The Lord is coming to bless you. The Lord is coming with boundless blessing upon you and upon your family. And as you wait, let us ask like Mary, let it be done to me according to your will.